On behalf of the city, I want to just extend my deepest sympathies and condolences to the victims' families and their loved ones. Obviously, this is a, a huge tragedy for, for them, for the, the witnesses, for the employees at Walmart. Um, I will tell you that Walmart has been amazing, uh, helping us with uh, you know everything we needed uh, to process this. Uh, the, the building was, was checked, and obviously the suspect had left through surveillance, uh, lots of hours of surveillance uh, to be able to obtain the, the actual description uh, of the suspect. We were able to get the identification through um, investigation, and that person was obviously identified as Scott Ostrom. Date of birth was 3-8 of 1970. Um, what we discovered that was that uh, Mr. Ostrom did not have uh, an extensive criminal history. There was a search warrant that was obtained for his, uh, for his residence near the area of 7100 Samuel Drive. That search warrant was executed. However, he was not home. Uh, officers were in the area, and this was from a tip that came in from a, a citizen as far as his location. So officers were there doing the surveillance, and that's when the, they observed the, the red uh, Mitsubishi Mirage that was the 2017 that we observed in the, in the video footage seen leaving in the area. The officers that were in the area that were assisting, again, it was assisting agencies along with the city of Thornton Police Department, uh, did a, a high-risk stop on the vehicle and successfully were able to take uh, the suspect into custody without incident. Now, some of you may have heard that there was a loud bang. There was, because there was SWAT operators involved in this, uh, there was a flashbang that was used as a distraction. That's what that was for. Uh, on scene, the, the uh, suspect was positively identified by our officers that were on scene. That was the Thornton officers, as well as by self-admission. He did admit that he was uh, Scott Ulstrom. It was, it was, a, it was a, a citizen tip that led us to that area. Uh, so we were in the area doing surveillance to see whether he had come back or not, and that's the reason why we were in the area. Any 